Analytical Chemistry 2.0 by David Harvey. Chapter 2. Section 2 C. Stoichiometric Calculations. A balanced reaction, which gives the stoichiometric relationship between the moles of reactants and the moles of products, provides the basis for many analytical calculations. Consider, for example, an analysis for oxalic acid, H2C2O4, in which iron plus 3 oxidizes oxalic acid to CO2. 2Fe plus 3, plus H2C2O4, plus 2H2O, gives 2Fe plus 2, plus 2CO2, plus 2H3O plus. The balanced reaction indicates that one mole of oxalic acid reacts with two moles of Fe plus 3. As shown in example 2.6, we can use this balanced reaction to determine the amount of oxalic acid in a sample of rhubarb. The analyte in example 2.6. Oxalic acid is in a chemically useful form because there is a reagent, Fe plus 3, that reacts with it quantitatively. In many analytical methods, we must convert the analyte into a more accessible form before we can complete the analysis. For example, one method for the quantitative analysis of dissolved from C10H20 into S4, the active ingredient in the drug in abuse requires that we convert the sulfur to sulfuric acid by first oxidizing it to SO2 by combustion, and then oxidizing the SO2 to H2SO4 by bubbling it through a solution of hydrogen peroxide. When the conversion is complete, the amount of H2SO4 is determined by titrating with sodium hydroxide. To convert the moles of NaOH used in the titration to the moles of disulfuram in the sample, we need to note the stoichiometry of the reactions. Writing a balanced reaction for sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide is straightforward. H2SO4 plus 2NaOH gives to H2O plus Na2SO4. But the balanced reactions for the oxidations of C10H20 into S42SO2 and of SO2 to sulfuric acid are not as immediately obvious. Although we can balance these redox reactions, it is often easier to deduce the overall stoichiometry by using a little chemical logic.